Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and this is another episode of my little series on um, Winlink on whatever device I might have. I've been doing these tutorials for a couple of years now, um, showing the radios I've had and the radios I have and how to set up Winlink on them and what's the correct settings. And um, I find that helpful because well, there aren't a lot of videos out there on these topics, so um, uh, in case you wonder how to set up Winlink on your radio, I have some videos to help you. Um, besides that, I got the G106 here set up on a little bit of a side table here. Um, and uh, I got the radio, I got a tuner, and uh, I got a computer here, and uh, then the DE19 interface here. You can just as well use a digirig for your G106, but I have the DE19 set up for it. We're gonna walk through how Winlink is set up on the device, and uh, then we're gonna do a connection, uh, hopefully today, because band conditions are horrible, so I've struggled a lot in the preparement of the video and actually making uh, a connection somewhere. Then we're gonna conclude a little bit. This is not gonna be a long video. I'm gonna show the settings. I'm gonna do a connection and uh, that's gonna be it. So um, let's move on over to the computer and uh, take a look there. And here's the setup. Um, that's the Surface uh, 4 that I use for portable work. It's the G106 and let's just turn that on. So that's on. And it's the AT100M tuner. Um, I do have another tuner um, on the way in the mail for the G106, so we're going to take a look at that in a couple of videos. Uh, but as of now, it's this tuner. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get things started. And I'll just put a video overlay of the screen here so you can see what happens. So the first thing we're going to do here in Winlink is go to the Winlink Express setup over here under settings. And here you enter all your relevant details, such as call sign, password, uh, where you live, and everything, and uh, your grid square. So, um, as you can see, it's filled out here. Uh, this is something you do on Winlink when you set it up. Um, the next time thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a VARA HF Winlink session, and we're going to press Open Session. And... Um, once this is up, we're going to go to settings and radio settings. And the settings I figured works for the um, G106. As radio, ICOM 7100. Uh, just leave the standard settings. Leave it as upper sideband digital. You do, however, need to change the radio manual to upper digital on the, on the radio. Uh, for PTT, it's the same COM port as your radio. Uh, or the radio com port, you find that under device settings. I'm um, not going to show that now. You can search that and um, if you want to dabble with Winlink, I'm guessing you've done this before. Baud rate 19,200. Uh, just leave RTS and DTR blank. For PTT port, select ICOM 7100 and that's it. Then we're going to go into the VARA window here again and I'm just going to drag that into the screen. Uh, then you go for settings here, uh, sound card, you choose the correct sound card. In my case, it's the uh, USB audio device. Um, then you have to tune the ALC. I haven't really uh, figured out how to do that reliably on the uh, G106. I've just left it at minus five. This works for me. It might not work for you, so you have to actually figure that out. Um, so we got everything up and running. We'll go into the session window again, and I'm gonna organize my window so you can actually see a little bit of everything that's going on here. Uh, see if I can resize, I can't resize the Avara window, but we'll leave it in the background like this and we'll, we'll change it a little bit back and forth. I've tuned into a um, node here, an RMS. So I'm gonna hit start once the channel is free. Press start. And if we look in the VARA window here, it's going to try to connect. And it's up to 15 tries. So what has happened here is that I've tried a lot of nodes here. I struggled today on getting a connection. I'm trying um, LA2U here. Let's see if that helps. And we actually got a connection to LA2U. Let's hope that is good enough.
And you can hear those Vara sounds in the background. We're going to move to the Windlake session window so you can see what happens. We're connected. It says that we have 1,436 daily minutes remaining. And we're going to let this run its course here. And we might even speed that up a little bit. And we are receiving a message here. That is a message for me, from me as just a message to show that we have a demonstration. And if we look on the top here, it says how far we're along in the, uh, in the little bit of um, a progress bar here. And we're, we've downloaded the message, so we're just waiting for this to disconnect now. And uh, I'm going to turn the volume down here. We're uh, good. Uh, 173 bytes per minute. So this is not by any means fast. Let's take a look at the message before we go to, uh, uh, to the studio setting again. Um, just says this is a demo of Windlink for the G106, and it's from me. So, um, there you go. Let's uh, head over to the studio again. So, there we go. That's Windlink on the Zygu G106. And, I gotta admit though, um, band conditions aren't the best today, and I really struggled. But we made a more than 500 kilometer hop with 5 watts on Windlink on the G106. And to be honest, I am honestly very, very impressed with that. So, um, that's it. If you like this video, if it helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you really dislike the video and you've seen Windlink for a couple of minutes, give it a thumbs down then. Um, Hope to see you down the bands. Hope to see you in my next video. And please do remember to subscribe. 7-3, my friends.